So let's look at this question that asks us to find tension in the rope AC. All right. Let's look at the full question. So the question here says, in a ship unloading operation, a 3,500 Newton automobile is supported by a cable. A rope is tied to the center at A and pulled in order to center the automobile over its intended position. The angle between the cable and the vertical is 2 degrees while the angle between the rope and the horizontal is 30 degrees what is the tension in the rope okay now let's look at let's take a look at our diagram here which is this one here um let me try to zoom in this picture uh, let me try to move this over here and see how i can zoom this in let's see all right so we have this so we actually find let me drag this down a bit so you can see it properly Alright, so we have this. Our first task, as usual, is to get my free body diagram. And in drawing the free body diagram of this question here, my task would be to get my center point, which is A here. This A here, this point here, is my center point. So that means for this question here, I would come this way. Let me draw my free body diagram. Um, I would just draw, get my center point there. And then let's say I'll do this one here, like this. And I'll get up like this, this way here. And I'll call this my center points. Let's call this center point here. We'll call this point A. That's my center point. What else do I have? You can see that this line here, this is A. Now going up this way, if I go up this way from A, going up this way, the angle there is 2 degree. You can see here. Okay. So what does that mean? It means from here, I could go from here. Let me follow the same trajectory. Let me follow the same pattern here. Here. I will say this one formed an angle here. If you look at that correctly, okay, let me come back here a bit. Okay, it formed an angle here, this one here. This point was B, I think. Yep, B. So this was given here as B. And B formed an angle here of about 2 degrees. You can see this, alright? So you can have this as 2 degrees, which is this angle here. Alright, AC is slanting this way. You can see AC slanting this way here and forming an angle of 30 degrees. So I'll simply come here, AC, I'll come here this way and do this, this way here. Call this point C here and call the angle here 30 degrees. All right, so we have this so far. Now, what else do we have here? If you look at the question here, they mentioned something. They said, um, a 3,500 Newton automobile. That's simply the car. So the car weighs about 3,500 Newton. That's the weight of the car. The question now becomes, how do we represent the weight of the car in this diagram? Well, that's simple. We know that weight always acts vertically downwards. All right, that's what's to note. Weight would always act vertically downwards. So if they say the weight of the car is 3,500 Newton, that means it will act vertically downwards. That's this one here this and this so this becomes 3500 in newton so see why i place this in this diagram all right so basically this is how we do this one here all right so here's my free body diagram here we actually find the tension in the rope which rope exactly are we talking about a b that's this one here or a c this one here if you read the question there they called one a cable mind the language there they called one cable all right, they say rope A is tied to the cable at, they said a rope is tied to the cable at A and pulled in order to um, center the automobile, right? Um, if they said in this case, they said the rope is tied to the cable at A and pulled. So it's the one that is pulled that we can call the rope, which is simply this one here. So you can see the man here pulling the rope. So if you ask to find the tension in the in the rope, you actually find the tension in AC. That's the one that is being pulled. So you have to understand these things properly. All right. So let's find AC. We'll call it tension in AC. Let's call it TAC. So we'll call this TAC. Now, by the way, what about AB? What was the language used here? Uh, let's see if we can find something there. Um, okay. By cable, it's okay. Um, the angle between the cable and the vertical so they called it a cable the angle between the cable and the vertical is two degrees all right so they call this one a cable 
of course, the language also proves that it's correct. They call this one a rope. That's R-O-P-E. They call this one a cable. So when they say you should find the tension in the rope, they actually meant this. So which means that we are actually correct. All right. Um, but by the way, let's see. Right, so this is a cable. Uh, since it's also a cable, it's still a string. Let's call the tension here T-A-B. So although we are asked to find the value of T-A-C, I would have to find the value of both T-A-C and T-A-B. So that um, just in case you ask for anyone, you can provide the answer. So how do we solve this question here? Now, for this one here, trying to use resolution of forces might be a bit tasky. Right? It's, it, it, you could get the answer, but it would be um, a bit tasky. What you use in this case? Now, why it would be tasky is because the value of TAC and TAB were not given. So you literally have two unknowns here. So trying to resolve to vertical and horizontal components would be such a stress. So how do you solve this one here? Now, the concept here is that you have to resolve this to a triangle. All right, that's the concept here. But before then, let's look at something. This angle here is 2 degrees. The angle at which TAB is inclined, all right, it's not given. This angle is not given. This other angle here is not given. But then we can find this angle here. Why? We do that alternate angles are equal. So this angle here, 2 degrees, is an alternate angle of this side here. That's what the 2 degrees in other words, TAB is inclined at 2 degrees to the vertical, while TAC is inclined at 30 degrees to the horizontal. So that's how this is, okay? All right, so with this, I said your concept would be to form a triangle. Can you form a triangle with this? How does it go? Don't forget that TAC will be going out, TAB will be going outward like this. Okay, TAC is pointing outwards, then what's down. So how do you form a triangle with this? Simple. Start with this one first. The weight, the weight is this, um, coming downwards like this. Okay, so you have the weight here. Okay, what else do you have here? What can we add next? So you can see that this man here is going down from this point A here. This man is going down. That's TAC is going down. It's slanting down this way as um, 30 degrees. So we can see from this same diagram here. Let me reduce this. I think this is big. I'm just this just for convenience sake. Uh, I'm going to this a bit. All right. So take a walk with this. Now, if you look at the way TAC is slanted, it's going this way. Look at this. This is going this way. You can see the motion there or the direction like this. So let's bring it. Let's combine this to this. So from here, let's use that slanted pattern. You have something that looks like this. Yeah, something like this. So this is where the TAC is. is. All right. So you have this. Okay. One final thing there. One final thing, observe the way TAB also is slanted. It's, it's slanted this way like this. You can see this. And the direction is literally this way. All right, let's bring that into this diagram here. If I bring that into this diagram, you can see that it completes my triangle. So it's now, it's now slanted this way. You can see this. Okay. And it was pointing upwards. So this is actually correct. If you remember when we did vectors, we said you use what we call the head-tail combination. Which means that to the head of one um, vector is combined with the tail of the second one. The head of this vector is combined with the tail of this one. The head of this vector is combined with the tail of it. So it's correct. So just look at how this is done. All right. You need what, maybe probably two or more examples to master this. But then this is how we do this. Now, by the way, let's now bring back our vectors. Um, the the tension this way was TAC, okay? So the one running this way was TAC. So this was TAC, TAC this way. Going down was like this, was the weight. So this was the weight, that's W, equal to 3500 zero, zero Newton, okay? Why running this way was TAB this way. So I'll come here and call this TAB. All right, so what's, which of the angles do we have so far? The angle here, as you can see, TAB meets here at 2 degrees. So this angle here for TAB is 2 degrees. So I can come here and conveniently say that this angle here, this one here, that's the angle with which TAB meets with the vertical line is 2 degrees. So this is 2 degrees. Okay. What else do I have? I have that TAC is inclined at 30 degrees to the horizontal. That means if I come here and I put a horizontal line, something like this. Let's do this. Okay. 
I would say the angle for TAC is actually 30 degrees. So we have this. So how do we get the other angles here? This one is not setting. There's no setting way of getting this. So how do we get the remaining angle? If you look at this critically, if I should complete this diagram, that's this one this way. Um, excuse me. If I should complete this this way, you can see that a right angle triangle will be formed here, like this. Look at this. Yes, so a right angle triangle will be formed here. So in essence, we could have a 90 degrees here. That means if I find, that means if I combine the total angle here, it becomes 90 plus 30. That's 120 degrees. We we'll have this as total angle. So with this one here, we can now get the other angle. So in essence, this angle here is 120 degrees. This one here is 2 degrees. How do we find this part? Let's call this x. All right. What do we know? We know that sum of angles in the triangle is equal to 180 degrees. So 2 degrees plus 120 degrees plus x is equal to 180 degrees. If I combine these two, this gives you 122 degrees plus x is equal to 180 degrees. So x is equal to 180 minus 122. So x will be equal to 58 degrees. Okay. So that's the value for x. So x is actually 58 degrees in value. All right. So with that one done, I think I can take this one off. 58 degrees. Mm, can come here too. Reduce this. Uh, sorry, excuse me. Mm, let me smaller one there. All right. So what I have here is 58 degrees, um, 58 degrees. All right. So with this now, we can now find the, we can now find the um, tension in both AB and AC. Although the question said in the rope, which is actually TAC. Let's get TAC from here. What we use here is now the sine rule. So using the sine rule, sine rule, I explained this before. I said for sine rule, simply decide all over the sign of the angle facing it all right that's simply t since you're working with tac let's start with tac first so tac that becomes t ac tension in ac all over sign of the angle facing it the angle facing tac is simply if i look at tac here the angle facing this is simply this one here which is what there two degrees that's the angle facing this two degrees so all over sine two so all over sine two it's equal to next up i have this as um for this one here this one is 3500 the angle facing this is 58 you can see this here 58 degrees that's the angle facing this directly opposite 58 degrees that becomes 3500 over sine 58 3500 all over sine of 58 it's equal to finally we now have t a b that's TAB here. The angle facing TAB is this one here, 120. You can see there's this angle here, which we got as 120. It becomes TAB over sine 120. It becomes TAB all over sine 120. All right. So with this now, we can find the value of TAC. I'll just solve using this two equation here. All right. I'll just solve using this. So with this, we can have that TAC. So we can now have that TAC all over sine 2 degrees. It's equal to 3500 all over sine of 58. All right, so we have this. Let's solve this question here. I have this times this. It becomes TAC times sine 58. It's equal to this times this. 3500 times sine 2 degrees. Okay, let's solve this. So, how do you solve this? Just divide this simply. Also, divide here by sine of 58. That's sine 58. Divide here also by sine 58. So, with this now, this will cancel this. So, we'll have that TAC is equal to. So, I'll just go ahead and punch this directly. So this becomes 3500 multiplied by sine 2 
all divided by sine of 58 and TAC gives me approximately 144.0303 in Newton. All right. So this is literally your, let me put the decimal points there. All right. 144.03 in Newton. That's the value of TAC. Let's now get TAB. Um, let's get TAB for this one here. We'll use this. So we'll have that 3500 all over sine um, sin 58. Sine 58 it's equal to TAB. That's T a b all over sine 120 sine of 120 all right this multiplies this that's t a b sine 58 it's equal to this multiplies this 3500 okay let me write this somewhere else excuse me t a b sine 58 C A B sine fifty eight. It's equal to three thousand five hundred sine one twenty. All right. So just cross multiply. Divide here. Also divide here by sine fifty eight. Divide here by all right. So divide both sides by sine fifty eight. This cancels this. We have that TAB. It's equal to let's see, three thousand five hundred sine one twenty all over sine fifty eight. That gives you about three thousand five hundred and seventy four point one nine in Newton. So basically, this is the solution to this question. All right. So with this now, we've gotten the value of TAC and TAB. But for this question, we asked to find TAC. The answer is this. And so basically, this is how you solve this question. All right. All right, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, you can get my other courses on applied mechanics from my website. Simply visit www.journalimoney.com forward slash courses and you see the second year undergraduate students one. All right. You see second year undergraduate one course. All right. So you can register an account with the website and then proceed to get the course. All right. You see, you get access to other videos on applied mechanics or solid mechanics. All right. Or you can also join my channel membership for exclusive content. All right. So check for the second year undergraduates. All right. So look for the second year undergraduate member. Okay. I'll leave a link to both my website and the channel membership or to join my channel membership in the video description. All right. Okay, guys. So if you enjoyed this video, as usual, hit the like button, right? So like this video, leave a comment. In the comments, tell us if you enjoyed this video, all right? Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if it's your first time, or if you're yet to subscribe, please subscribe to this channel. And finally, share this video to your friends so that they can also learn. Thank you and see you in our next class.